Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. In physics, there is a speculative hypothesis that if there were a black hole with the same mass, charge, and angular momentum as an electron, it would share other properties of the electron. Most notably, Brandon Carter showed in 1968 that the magnetic moment of such an object would match that of an electron. This is interesting because calculations ignoring special relativity and treating the electron as a small rotating sphere of charge give a magnetic moment roughly half the experimental value. See gyromagnetic ratio. However, Carter's calculations also show that a would-be black hole with these parameters would be super extremal. Thus, unlike a true black hole, this object would display a naked singularity, meaning a singularity in space-time not hidden behind an event horizon. It would also give rise to closed time-like curves. Standard quantum electrodynamics, QED, currently the most comprehensive theory of particles, treats the electron as a point particle. There is no evidence that the electron is a black hole or naked singularity, or not. Furthermore, since the electron is quantum mechanical in nature, any description purely in terms of general relativity is paradoxical until a better model based on understanding of quantum nature of black holes and gravitational behavior of quantum particles is developed by research. Hence, the idea of a black hole electron remains strictly hypothetical. Details an article published in 1938 by Albert Einstein, Leopold and Feld, and Banesh Hoffman showed that if elementary particles are treated as singularities in space-time, it is unnecessary to postulate geodesic motion as part of general relativity. The electron may be treated as such a singularity. If one ignores the electron's angular momentum and charge, as well as the effects of quantum mechanics, one can treat the electron as a black hole and attempt to compute its radius. The Schwarzschild radius RS of a mass M is the radius of the event horizon for a non-rotating, uncharged black hole of that mass. It is given by our S equals 2 G M C 2, where G is the Newtonian constant of gravitation, and C is the speed of light. For the electron, M equals 9.109 times 10 minus 31 kg, so RS equals 1.353 times 10 minus 57 M. Thus, if we ignore the electric charge and angular momentum of the electron and apply general relativity on this very small length scale without taking quantum theory into account, a black hole of the electron's mass would have this radius. In reality, physicists expect quantum gravity effects to become significant even at much larger length scales, comparable to the Planck length P equals GC3, equals 1.616 times 10 minus 35 M. So, the above purely classical calculation cannot be trusted. Furthermore, even classically, electric charge and angular momentum affect the properties of a black hole. To take them into account while still ignoring quantum effects, one should use the Kerr-Newman metric. If we do, we find that the angular momentum and charge of the electron are too large for a black hole of the electron's mass. A Kerr Newman object with such a large angular momentum and charge would instead be super extremal, displaying a naked singularity, meaning a singularity not shielded by an event horizon. To see that this is so, it suffices to consider the electron's charge and neglect its angular momentum. In the Reissner Nordstrom metric, which describes electrically charged but non rotating black holes, there is a quantity RQ, defined by our Q equals Q2G4 pi epsilon 0 C4 where Q is the electron's charge and epsilon zero is the vacuum permittivity. For an electron with Q equals minus E equals minus 1.602 times 10 minus 19 C, this gives a value RQ equals 1.3807 times 10 minus 36 M. Since this vastly exceeds the Schwarzschild radius, the Reissner Nordstrom metric has a naked singularity. If we include the effects of the electron's rotation using the Kerr-Newman metric, there is still a naked singularity, which is now a ring singularity, and space-time also has closed time-like curves. The size of this ring singularity is on the order of our A equals JMC, whereas before M is the electrons. Mass and C is the speed of light, but J equals slash 2 is the spin angular momentum of the electron. 
This gives RA equals 1.9295 times 10 minus 13 M, which is much larger than the length scale RQ associated with the electron's charge. As noted by Carter, this length RA is on the order of the electron's Compton wavelength. Unlike the Compton wavelength, it is not quantum mechanical in nature. More recently, Alexander Burinsky has pursued the idea of treating the electron as a Kerr Newman naked singularity.